everyone. Welcome to Lorraine Corbatic Fitness. I'm Lorraine. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. This morning we're going to be doing our cardio strength and ab class. It's such a favorite. Up till now we've always done 20 minutes of each one. Today we're going to shorten it just a little bit, 15 minutes of each one. So we're going to do four exercises for cardio, four for strength and four for abdominals. We'll be working for 45 seconds. You'll just get a little 20 second break in between. After each round, we'll get a minute break, and then we're gonna just power on through. So you're gonna want some water, you're gonna want a yoga mat to get down for those abdominals. You're probably gonna want a set of weights, and if you don't have a set of weights, like I always say, find something in your house that you can hold onto fairly easily that have a little bit of weight. So maybe they're water bottles, maybe they're frozen water bottles, maybe they're canned goods. Whatever it is, make sure you've got something. Otherwise, oh well, if you don't, do body weight. At least you're moving and I'm glad you're with me. All right, we're gonna start with a really, really quick warm up. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna start my timer here. Let's do it. So let's take those arms out. We're gonna do some big arm circles. We won't be doing a whole lot of arms today because the last time we did one of those beautiful cardio strength abdominal classes, we did quite a bit of arms. So if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and search that channel of mine. Find that class. Some of the cardio strength um, classes that I've done, the 2020s, uh, we've done yoga instead of abdominals. So take a look, there's something there for everyone. All right, let's take hands on the hips, take one knee up to the front, out to the side, get into those hips, bring up that leg nice and high. Keep breathing. Make sure you've tucked those abdominals in nice and tight, right? That's what stabilizes us when we're lifting a leg off the ground. Beautiful. I know you're doing great. You've got your good attitude and your smiles ready. Love it. Let's take those arms up overhead. You can just clasp them at the elbows. Take a little side bend. Back and forth. Feel that stretch? Oh my goodness. I just love it. Yeah. Just want to get that blood really flowing through the body here. Wake up those muscles. Prepare them for what's to come. Of course, we're not doing anything too crazy here with our cardio. Let's take a big inhale, breath up. Exhale, come all the way down to the ground. Inhale, reach it all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Feel that beautiful stretch in the back of the legs, all the way up through the underside of the arms. Yeah, so good. If you need to bend into the knees here, that's fine. Let's do two more. All the way up, all the way down, one more. Beautiful job. All right, let's get right into that cardio class. Let's do our side shuffle with a little touchdown. So you're gonna take your legs, their shoulder distance apart. You're gonna bend down. Make sure the knees don't go past the toes, right? Uh-uh. Touch down, shuffle over. So it's a little hop. If you can't do any hopping, you don't want any impact, touch down, take a step, take a step. All right, you can absolutely do this if, even if you're low impact. So get in position. Feet about hip distance or shoulder distance apart. I'm starting that timer. Let's do this 45 seconds right now. Shuffle it on over. Little shuffle. Gotta love it. Stay nice and low. Yeah. But we're not rolling the shoulders forward. We're keeping them back in place. Tummy's tight. Yeah. Bounding side to side. So we're pressing off those feet, pressing the earth away from us. 20 seconds, my friends. Breathe. Yeah. You got it. I'm feeling it already. Those quads, they're working. Beautiful. Nine seconds to go. Yeah. Woo. Keep breathing. We're almost done. That's it. Grab water if you need it. Moving right on. You've only got 20 seconds. March and twist. Gonna bring those knees up nice and high, hands behind the head, elbow to knee, cross body. If you wanna jump, you can jump. We're starting right now. Let's go. So this is cardio, so you wanna be nice and quick. Yeah, don't shut your eyes. Don't want you falling over. Focus on your breath. If you start to get a little bit panicky, or your brain starts telling you, you can't do this, it's too much, it's too hard, it's too fast. You can slow it down, you're in charge. And if you can jump, 
You can add that jump. There's a way to make it easier and harder. All right. 10 seconds. Hang in there. Whew. Bringing those knees up. Mm. Reaching for those elbows, even if you can't touch. And that, my friends, is it. Ninja kicks. All right, so a ninja kick, standing on one leg, soft bend in that knee. You don't need your hands behind your ears. You're gonna have your hands up like a boxer. Hinge over at the waist, kick out the leg. We're starting in five seconds. So bend into the knee, snap kick, bring it back. Are you ready? Let's do this. Kick it out. Don't forget about those abdominals. They stay tight. They're supporting your whole body as you lean over and kick, right? Your core is helping you stay stable. We're stabilizing. You're gonna wanna remember which leg you're standing on, which leg you're kicking, so that when we do the second round, you can switch. Maybe you're picking up speed. Maybe you feel like this isn't much cardio, so go a little faster. 10 seconds, friends. Come on, lift that leg up. Really bend over. Five seconds. That's nothing. We can do it. Maybe one more kick. Yeah. All right. Frog squat and pull. You're going to take nice wide legs, sumo. So angle your toes out. Heels are pretty much in line with the shoulders. Hands in front. This is a frog squat. You're going to come up, pull your elbow to the side, lift the leg. Then you're going to go to the opposite side. Alternating. Are you ready? Let's go. Frog squat and pull. Other side now. Pull that elbow. Lift that leg. Whew. Beautiful. So nice for those inner thighs. Every time we're planting that foot, we're planting it sumo style. Toes angled out, heels in towards the body. Feel that stretch in the inner thigh. And you may have noticed it's full body. Moving those arms. Yeah. 15 seconds. Stay with me. I know you got this. Even if you have to slow down. Yeah, and if you're hardcore, you're going super speed. Here we go. Last five. I'm sure you can tell I'm breathing hard. Yeah. It's also a function of having to talk through all the exercises. All right. So we're on that one minute break. First 20 seconds, you'll hear a ding just after it. Then it'll kick into that 40 seconds as well. Giving you a total of one minute break. So this is where you make any adjustments, right? If the uh, brain isn't right, if it's not giving you positive messages, change your thought pattern. You're in control of those thoughts, right? If it's your breath, focus on your breath. Take a couple of nice deep ones. Maybe in through the nose and out through the nose. Getting us ready for our next set. We're starting in less than 20 seconds. All right. We're starting with those side shuffles. Maybe you're hopping. Maybe you're stepping. Let's take those wide legs. Send your booty behind you. We're touching the ground or close to it. In three, two, and one. Let's go. And again, really trying not to hunch the back or the shoulders forward. Especially in today's society when we're spending a lot of time on our phones, on our computers, in the car. We're already spending enough time hunched over. So let's really try not to do that in our workouts. 20 seconds, friends. Oh yeah. Whew. Hopefully you're not doing this one after leg day. Yeah, this one's a real leg, I don't know, killer, I guess. Feeling it in those quads. Last five. Whew. Couple more. That is it right there. Shake out the legs. Do what you need to do. We're coming into that march and twist. We're gonna pick up those knees nice and high, twisting the elbow to the knee, hands behind the ears. Are we ready, friends? Sure you are, you're just waiting for me. Three, two, and one, let's go. Picking up those knees, aiming for the elbows. Yeah. And now here, same thing goes with that proper form and taking care of our bodies. We're not pulling on our necks here, yeah? I should say no, right? I'm not pulling my head forward. My head is pretty much stationary, neck in line with the spine, knees reaching for the elbows, or elbows reaching for the knees. 
however we want to look at it. Keep moving. Yeah. Come on, 10 seconds. Don't be afraid of that breath. Even if you're panting like I am, it's okay. It's good for us. Increasing the capacity of our lungs. Working that cardiovascular system. Okay, ninja kicks, opposite side. So this time I'm standing on my right. Soft bend in the knee, I'm gonna lean over this way. Kick it that way. Make sure there's nothing in your way. We're starting in five seconds. <sighs> Take care of the breath. Let's go. Kick it out. I'm putting my hands in front like a fighter. Not that I am one. Kind of always wanted to be. I shouldn't say always, but I think it would be fun. Maybe some of you are in boxing classes, martial arts. You're showing me how to do this, aren't you? That's right. All right. Good job. Keep smiling, right? You don't have to look like a pro. You just have to keep moving. Do your best. Take care of those joints. Soft bend in that standing knee, yeah? Yeah, that's right. All right, maybe you're going a little faster. Putting that leg down, kicking it right back up. Seven seconds. Come on, let's go. For three, two, and one. We're done. Frog squat and pull. Grab water if you need it. 12 seconds, wide legs, sumo style. Get ready, I'm gonna move over a little bit because we're going alternating sides. Here we go, hands down, elbow up. Lift that leg, don't lose your balance like I did. I was thinking about my feet there, yeah. We wanna plant them, sumo, yeah. If you're someone who's been watching and doing a number of my videos, you know that I'm good for a laugh, if nothing else. I bumble, I fall, I say things I don't really mean to say, and uh, that's it. You get to see it all. Yeah, I don't cut that stuff out. I'm just like you. No perfection here, uh-uh. No such thing. Do the best you can. Last five. Whew. And you're done, set number two. One minute break. <sighs> Take some deep breaths. If you're working out with a friend or a family member, give them a high five. Yeah. Take a little sip of water. Get ready for the third and final set of cardio. That's just taking us into the last 40 seconds of the minute break. All right. And then we're getting into that beautiful strength training, training section. Lots of legs. It's gonna be fun. Hopefully you have a sweat towel, you might need it. We're starting in 20 seconds. Third and final cardio. Should be nice and sweaty by now. I'm outside and I'm still sweaty. Starting with that side shuffle and touch down. So let's get ready, shall we? Look down at your knees, they're not past the toes, right? Good job, here we go in three, two, and one. Side shuffle, little hop or a step. That's it. Keep going, friends. Come on, come on. It's four exercises. Four 45 second exercises. 45 seconds, as you know, isn't even a minute. We should be able to do this. Even if you have to slow it down, step it out, yeah? That's okay. No one minds. We don't give out report cards here. No gold stars. You're like do, likely doing this at home. Privacy of your own home, that's nice. So no worries. Do what you can. Five seconds. I'm feeling it too, don't you worry. Two, one. You're done. Oh yeah, my legs. They're feeling it. March and twist. Third and final time. Good job, my friends. 10 seconds till we start it. Lifting up those knees nice and high. <clears throat> Five seconds. Ready? Let's do this. Twist it. Yep. Just like that. And again, maybe you're jumping. Maybe you just try one or two jumps. And if it's not for you, you come back to this nice, high paced, quick paced march. Bring up those knees, bring up those knees. Uh, uh. I should really stop talking. I tell you, when you're talking all the way through a class, it's twice as hard. Really makes you breathe hard. 
But again, like I said, that's good for us. Good for our cardiovascular system. Working those lungs. Working that heart. That beautiful, loving heart. Come on, guys. Less than 10 seconds. You can do it. Whew. Whew. Do what you gotta do. We're almost done. That's it. Yeah. Two more. So we've only got 45 seconds of ninja kicks. So about halfway, 22 seconds, we'll switch legs. So make sure you've got room on both sides. Transition will be a little awkward, I know. Always is, but we want to be even. Get ready. In three, two, oh, quicker than that. Alternating sides. Or stay on one side. And again, I'll tell you when to switch. I started alternating, so I guess I said stay there. Either way is fine. Like I said, as long as you're moving, right? This isn't written in stone. I'm not watching you. I don't know if you noticed, but I had to just slow that down a little bit. My kicks were getting crazy. If you're on one side, you're switching now. Opposite side, kicking it out. Yeah, I slowed it down again a tiny bit. I can feel myself getting off balance. It's definitely more challenging going side to side. So do what you gotta do. I follow my own advice. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're done. Last one. Frog squat and pull. Wide legs like a frog. All right. You see all those pictures, right? In kids' coloring books, the frogs look like this. That's why we call it a frog pull. Alternating sides. Are you ready? Two, one, let's go. Squat and pull it. Other side. Come on, lift that leg. Pull and lift. Pull and lift. Plant that foot. Angled out. Yeah. Feel it in those inner thighs. Makes a huge difference. For sure. Come on, guys. We're almost done cardio. And then we're slowing it right down. Focusing on strength. Building muscle. Toning those bodies. Come on, less than 15 seconds. You got this. Last 10. And if you're just watching, this is harder than it looks. All right? Last five. Yeah. Two. One. We're done. All right. Take that one minute break. 20 seconds, it'll ding. 40 seconds, it'll ding again. I promise I'll have shown you what the first strength training exercise is by then. Just catching my breath. Whew. All right, 40 seconds to go. We're gonna do a deadlift. So take your weights in an overhand grip. Get those hands in front of the thighs. Roll the shoulders back, tuck in the tummy. Roll on down, hinging at the waist. Keep those weights close into the legs. Exhale as you press up through the heels. Maybe even lifting those toes inside the runners. We're starting in 15 seconds. Pick up your weights. If you don't have weights, pick up whatever you've got. All right, if you don't have anything, you're going through the motions, learning the move. Feet hip distance apart. Tiniest of micro bends in the knees, let's go. Hinge over at the waist. Keep those dumbbells or weights or whatever you've got close to the leg. Nice little Romanian deadlift here. <sighs> Inhale, lower. Exhale, press through the heels. When you come up, squeeze the tush. Your glutes, your bottom end. Yeah. How you doing over there? You feel great? Feel nice and hot and sweaty? Now watch over when you lean over. Nice flat back. We're not letting it arch. We're not letting it round. We've only got eight seconds left. Yeah. Come on, guys. You can do this. Great for those hamstrings. Glutes as well. That's why we're squeezing at the top. All right. Keep the weight. We're going back into sumo style. You're going to come down with bent knees into a sumo squat. Then you're going to go into a frog squat by lifting the hips, straightening the legs. Bend them back down. Lift up out of your sumo squat. You ready? Let's go. Bend into the knees. Straighten the legs. Bend the knees. Come on up. Sumo squat. Frog squat. Sumo squat. Pull it up. Keep the shoulders back. Nice form here. And if you cannot straighten those legs all the way, don't worry about that. Straighten them as much as you can. We don't get down on ourselves for our limitations. 
there's plenty of good reasons why we have limitations. Sometimes we've been injured. Sometimes that's just the way we were born. Sometimes we're just stiff. Maybe it's from our job. Last seven seconds. Yeah, you're done. Okay, we're grabbing one weight between two hands. Take it overhead. Stand on one leg, softly bent knee for support. Lift up the opposite leg with a bent knee. Bring it towards that elbow. Oblique crunches. Stepping down in between for support. Are you ready? Here we go. Arms up and crunch. Inhale as you lengthen the arms and the foot away from one another. Exhale as you bring elbow to knee. Getting into the side body here. Yeah. We're not dipping the arms in front. Certainly not going behind our body. Right? No arching that back. Just a simple little side crunch. Yeah. Should feel great. And if you've got too heavy of weights, you know what to do. Set it down. Just do the motion. You're still working those obliques. Here we go. Last five. Keep going and remember which side you're on so we can do the opposite side next time. All right, lay down on the ground. Get on your side. Elbow under shoulder. Dumbbell on the thigh. Feet together, knees together. Clamshells, weighted clamshells. Lift the knee up to the ceiling. Bring it back down. All right, if you don't want the dumbbell, lose it. Get ready, we're starting now. Open up, lower down. Open up, lower down. Now I'm not resting my top knee on the bottom knee as it comes back down. I'm just hovering it. I wanna keep that nice contraction, feeling it in the hips, maybe the IT band, maybe that beautiful abductor. Yeah, there we go. 15 seconds. Chest stays high and wide. Don't slouch. I'm all about good form, good posture. Yeah, because if we have good posture when we're working out, it really helps us have good posture throughout the rest of our day. All right, remember which side you're on for these two. They're done. All right, taking that quick break. Maybe you're grabbing that sweat towel. That cardio finally caught up to me. Whew, well done, everybody. Good job. All right, maybe a sip of water. And then we're gonna just repeat. That's what we do. So that marks 40 more seconds of your break time. We're gonna stand up, get into those beautiful deadlifts. So two weights, one in each hand, overhand grip. You are standing feet hip distance apart. If that's uncomfortable, you can go as much as shoulder, that's fine. Softest of bends in the knees. Roll the shoulders back and keep them there. Even as we tip over, right? When we go forward, don't let the shoulders round. Really think about that. All of our movements are very mindful. Not just throwing yourself into the exercise, going through the motions. We start in three seconds. Here we go. Tight bellies, shoulders back, hinging over at the waist. Yeah? Just hinging over. Top of the body, that torso stays the same bent over as it does when you're standing. You've also got the tiniest of bends in the elbows, yeah? It's not as imperative on the elbows here because our weights are below us, they're not overhead. Certainly when you have dumbbells overhead, so, so important to have that bend in the elbows. How are we doing? Seven seconds. Oh yeah, so nice out here. Deep breaths, almost done. That is it for deadlift. So we're going sumo squat to frog squat. So just as a reminder, angle those feet out. Heels are aligned underneath the shoulder. Hands are in front. We start with bent knees to take you down to the ground. We're starting in three seconds. Here we go. Bend those knees. Come down to your sumo squat. Lift up the hips, frog squat. Bend the knees, lift it up. All right, this is our second set. I'm sure you know how to do them now. Keep the shoulders back. Yeah. So chest is high and wide. <sighs> Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. 
I like to pair my movements to my breath. Really helps you stay focused, find a good rhythm. Last eight seconds. And done, excellent. Overhead dumbbell oblique crunch. So let's go over to that second side. I was doing it on my right side. So I'm coming over to that left side. Those arms are overhead. This is where you can have that soft bend in the elbows. All right, standing knee is softly bent as well. Here we go, guys. Oblique crunch. Little tap down on that foot. Kicking my plant. Yeah. Told you there's real life blunders here. All right. I almost always start with my dominant side. So this side feels a little bit awkward. I don't know if you did the same thing, but you just work through it, right? Like I said, if you have to just set the weight down, it's okay. Nobody's watching you. Nobody's keeping score. It's your workout, only you know. And you're not gonna get down on yourself about it, right? Because you know you're awesome. You know you're here. You know you're going through the movements with or without the weights. You're doing the best you can and you're done. All right. Last one, dumbbell clam shells. Clam shells. Eyes are watering. So get down opposite side. Elbow under shoulder. Feet together. Knees together. Getting ready to lift up that knee. Chest high and wide. Let's go. Lift it up and down. It's just a little move, right? This is one of those sneaky ones where you may not even feel it much right now. Hopefully you'll be able to feel it tomorrow. This is also an exercise that is easily done with bands, resistance bands, putting them up above the knee, not on the knee. But since we have dumbbells today, we're using our dumbbells. It's nice to switch up our exercises, find different variations. They challenge those muscles in slightly different ways. So we don't want to get stuck in one way of doing things, right? It's also good for the brain to move out of our comfort zone. That is it. That is round number two, my friends. Well done. Wipe off that sweat. Grab a little bit of water. That timer is going to ding in about 10 seconds. And that'll tell you you've got 40 more seconds of your break. Whew. Yeah, it's nice and warm out here. Almost summertime and you can tell. All right. My friends, my friends. We're getting into those deadlifts in 30 seconds. So let's go ahead, set ourselves up. I think maybe I'm gonna go this way for a change, why not? Change of scenery, also good for us. Let's go through the checklist. Softly bent knees, check. Belly button pulled in and no arching in the back, right? Tuck that tailbone under, under flat back. Shoulders rolled back, chest high and wide. Neck in line with the spine, meaning you're not jutting out that chin. Are you ready? All right, let's do this, friends. Hinge it over. Follow the line of your leg. Press up through the heels. Don't worry if you can't go down so far that the dumbbells are kind of in front of the shins. You're kind of listening to your body and watching your back. If your back starts to round right about here, then you've gone far enough. Or conversely, if it starts to arch, right? You want to be able to keep that flat back all the way through. So your body will tell you when you've gone far enough and it's time to press up through those heels. Maybe even lifting the toes in the runners, helping you to keep that weight back. Last four seconds, friends, and then we say goodbye to deadlifts for today. That's it, beautiful. Sumo squat to frog squat, I love this one. So good for those hamstrings, glutes, inner thighs. Get so many requests from women about inner thighs. All right, widespread those legs, angle out those toes, bending into the knees first, yeah? All right, let's do this. Down, hips up, down and up down hips up bend knees press it up yeah <sighs> inhale exhale inhale exhale <sighs> also take note of what weight you're using today and if you find that you're not really feeling it and you want more 
then the next time you do this video, because I know you're gonna love it so much, you're gonna wanna do it again, hey? Then you're gonna pick up heavier weights. So always just check in with yourself. Don't let your mind wander away to whatever it is you wanna do for the rest of the day. Stay with the workout, with your body and your breath. All right, oblique crunches. So at 22 seconds, I'm gonna tell you to switch sides, okay? Gotta get be even here. So we're starting in five seconds. Dumbbells overhead. Crunch to one side for 22 seconds. Let's go. Started with my dominant side again. That's okay. I might look a little awkward when I transition, and that's also okay. Yeah, good job. Almost done. Five more seconds. Switch now. Uh, uh. Elbow past knee. Maybe slowing down. If you're getting out of control, crunch it. And again, we inhale as we extend the arms and legs away. And we exhale as we crunch. Almost done. Good job. Whew. One left, dumbbell clamshells. All right, so get down on that ground. We're gonna have to switch it over real quick halfway. Here we go. Get ready. Breathe. We're actually gonna start a couple seconds early. Let's start now. And that way, we have a little, we have that couple extra seconds that we started early to do the switch over. All right, you'll probably just roll over onto your back and then roll over onto the other side. I don't wanna face away from me, so I'll be flipping it right over to the opposite end of my mat. Keep going here, friends. Switching in three, two, and one. Roll over, feet and knees together, and clamshell. Yeah. Trying to keep the upper body stable. It's not swinging. Working the legs. <sighs> Belly's tight, right? You're having to stabilize here for sure. That's it, good job, you're done. Let's take that one minute break and then we're getting into those beautiful abdominals. My favorite part of all. All right, so grabbing that sweat towel of mine. We're gonna be down on the ground. And for the first exercise, so you've got 40 seconds left. For the first exercise, you can absolutely leave the dumbbell. You don't have to have it. We're doing a half get up and twist. So the feet are hip distance apart. Dumbbell, if you've got it, is that by the chest. You're going to roll down, roll up, give me a twist and a twist. Roll down, come up, twist and twist. Are you ready? All right. We're starting in 15 seconds. Maybe you do a little trial one. See if you want to use the dumbbells. If you don't, do it without the dumbbells. That's fine. Okay. All right. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Belly nice and tight, pull that navel in and let's go. Roll it up, side to side. Roll down the spine, come on up. And remember, if you're one of those people who knows the tailbone starts to hurt them when you're doing the abdominals on the ground, by all means, get a little extra padding, folding up maybe a little tea towel, or maybe you've got a nice thin cushion and just plant it underneath that sacrum. Give yourself that little extra protection. Maybe you double up your yoga mat. Do whatever you need to do to take care of that body. Yeah, feeling it? Sure hope so. Hello, beautiful tummies. Let's keep going. Right till that buzzer. All right, 20 seconds. We're getting into plank. And in plank, we're gonna do that beautiful shoulder tap. So take your feet a little wider than you would ordinarily, and your wrists are underneath at the shoulders. Lift up one hand at a time, and shoulder tap. All right, we're starting right now. Let's go. Yeah. Just replacing the hands down on the earth, right where they were before. Softest of bends in those elbows. Really trying your hardest not have your bum pooched up into the sky keeping the belly really strong here you're pressing back through the heels feeling the strength of the legs helping to support you and a 
if it's too much to shoulder tap, you're holding your plank. That's your option. It's also okay to drop the knees and do a modified plank here. If you have to modify, that is okay. Again, find your way what works for your body. So getting down on the back, we're gonna do a straddle and we're gonna touch the opposite toe. So nice wide straddle legs. Watch the head here. Wide arms. You're gonna come up and touch the opposite toe. I haven't given myself a whole lot of room here, but let's go up and straddle. Touching the opposite toe, making sure the belly stays nice and tight. And again, you don't have to go super fast. So maybe you roll down a little slower. Really feel those abdominals work. And even though my arms can't perfectly straighten here, I'm still going through the motions. I'm certainly still feeling it in the abdominals. So don't worry about whether the arms are perfectly straight. That does not matter at all. <sighs> Inhale, roll down the spine. Exhale, come on up. Reach for that toe. It doesn't matter if you can actually touch it, right? Nah, uh, uh All right, we're getting into a leaned back position. And we're gonna get a, a twist and knee tuck. Chest high and wide. You're gonna bring the knees up to one side. See how it's kind of twisted to the right? Extend it away. Twist up to the opposite side. Now if you want, you can come up onto hands and do it like this. Okay, that was our timer, so we're in it. And since I'm up on those hands, I'm gonna stay up on those hands, which is a little harder than being leaned back on elbows. So if you're with me right now on the hands and you're like, holy smokes, this is hard, which it is, go ahead and lean back on those elbows and take the modification. Twisting left, twisting right, extending the legs in between. Stay with me. And done. Wow, I did abdominal day yesterday. I certainly felt that one. Okay, so take a 20 second break. That was our first round of abdominals. How you doing? You doing okay? All right. We're gonna do two more rounds and then we're done. Whew. What a beauty day to be doing this outside though. Better than indoors. So you got 40 more seconds of break. Getting into that half get up and twist. We're starting in 30 seconds. So let's get on down. Again, pad that bottom if you need is perfectly fine. And 15 seconds, folks. I'm facing this way this time. Again, I like to switch things up. Starting in 10 seconds. All right. Plant the feet hip distance apart. Bent knees. Five seconds. Get ready to roll down. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Roll down. Come up and twist. Twist. Center. Roll down. Roll up and twist. Twist. You got this, people. Yeah. Make sure you're still breathing. It's really common to see my clients holding their breath. Maybe actively breathe out loud. Again, if you're holding it by yourself, no one's listening or watching. So do what you have to do to take care of that beautiful body. Don't hold the breath. It doesn't do you any favors at all. And we're done, just like that. All right, let's get into that plank. Plank with shoulder tap, baby. Are you ready? 10 seconds. Take those legs wide. Hands under shoulders. Drop knees if you have to, but if you're dropping knees, I wanna see that belly still nice and tight. Here we go. Shoulder tap it out. Yeah, watch the shoulders. Remember, we don't wanna have them all the way up to the ears. We don't wanna create tension. Pull the belly in. Pull the shoulders back. Press through the heels. Man, sometimes it's like going to a golfing lesson, right? So many things to try to think about at once. Breathe, breathe, breathe. 
Tell yourself you've got this. You can do it. It's only a few seconds out of our day. We're doing it together. I'm here for you. All right. 45 seconds is almost up, friends. Let's go. All right, right into the third one. Yes, yeah, straddle cross body toe touch. I'm gonna go the opposite way this time. See if I have a little bit more room. Get down on that mat. Wide spread those legs. Wide spread the arms or bend into the elbows if you need. And get ready. Pull the belly into the spine. And let's go up and opposite side. Exhaling as you come up and not being worried if you can't touch the toe you're reaching for it maybe you touch the shin maybe you touch the bent knee make it your exercise that works for your body this is the way it happens to work for my body and we're all different so again we do the best we can we keep a good attitude and we congratulate ourselves for at least trying, doing the movements to the best of our abilities, and moving. All right, where are we at? Leaning back, twisted knee tuck. Turn it around this way. So let's get onto our elbows for this one. Leaning back on those elbows, keeping the chest wide, starting in three seconds, lift up those legs, bring them in, extend them out, twist to the opposite side. So we're kind of rolling on that tailbone that might be a little bit tender, especially if you're wearing yoga pants like I am. Sometimes those seams kind of dig in, don't they? So do what you gotta do. Maybe you just roll up the side edge of your yoga mat. Maybe you grab that little soft cushion. I'm gonna move down my mat. Sometimes you kind of travel when you're doing this exercise. I know I do. Last seven. All righty, we can do this. Four, three, two, and one. You're on a one minute break. And then only four abdominal exercises left. And we've done them all already. We know what we're doing. We know how we need to modify. We know what positive words we need to say to ourselves to finish the job. And then we're done. And you can go on with the rest of your day feeling great. Yeah, 40 more seconds of break time. How exciting. Okay, half get up and twist. Whew. Are you ready for it? Yeah, you are. All right, I love this one. Part get up, part rush and twist. What's not to love? Let's get on down. Let's get ready. Probably shouldn't do it this way. I'm always worried about hitting my head. But I like seeing my timer. We're starting in 10 seconds, friends. Grab that dumbbell if you're using it. Sit up nice and tall. Draw the navel in, right? We've got to activate those abdominals, engage them. Let's go, friends. Roll down, roll up, twist and twist. Roll down, roll up and twist, twist. Make sure you're actually twisting from the waist. That whole torso is going over to the side. Right? Yeah. It's not just the neck. It's that whole torso. You want to feel this in that core. 20 seconds. Twist, twist, roll down. And remember, you do not have to be at the same speed as me. Maybe you have a different tempo that works better for your body. Right? Yeah. Almost done. Let's go. And done! All right, our plank. Let's get into that plank. Maybe your modification is to just hold your plank, right? Maybe you're on the knees. Maybe you're on your elbows, right? It's all good. Here I am just holding it, waiting for that. There we go, that timer. Shoulder tapping it out. And there's no rush here. Just lift it up nice and gentle. One hand at a time, crossing it over, really feeling how the abdominals really like tighten as you lift up that one hand. That core has to work extra hard to stabilize. Just like when we're standing on one leg, we're on one arm. 
Papa's abdominals are working harder. How we doing? All right, stay with me for 10 more seconds. Just looking down at the mat, right between those hands. Keep the neck in line. You got it. That's it, drop those knees. Get ready for straddle, cross body. <sighs> Let's do it. Nice wide legs, wide arms if you can. Tuck in the belly. Here we go, friends. Exhale, come up and touch, and touch, and touch. If you lost your smiles, come on, find them for me. It's important, right? Keeping that healthy, positive attitude. And I don't know about you, but the serotonin rush that I get from exercising, no matter what it is, it just makes it all worth it. it. Makes it a little easier to smile, no matter what the circumstances. So let yourself be happy in the moment. So grateful for this body that can move in all these different ways. Three seconds. One more touch, come on. That's it. All right. Lean back, twisted knee, tuck. What a title. I need water. So let's do this. Lean back on those elbows. Get ready to tuck those knees in. We're starting now. Let's go. Tuck it in, extend. Knees twist to the opposite side. Yeah. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale as you tuck. It's just a little trick. Something to hang your hat on to to keep your breath nice and even. So you don't panic. You stay with the body. Stay with the movement. Slow and steady. Look at that, my friends. We're down to the last 15 seconds. And then we're done. Hoo-wee! So good. Oh my goodness. Last three, two, and one. You are done, my friends. I am just so pleased. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are done. In and out, 45 minutes. We did three rounds of 15 of each cardio strength and abs. Thank you for joining me. I hope you'll join me again sometime. Don't forget to check out all my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe. And please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. That would mean an awful lot to me. Take care, friends.